Hello everybody, we're with Sally Thorne, uh, she's a debut writer, she has written a book called The Hating Game. We're in Canberra um, and we're chatting with her, again another public servant, so that's our second one today. Uh, public servant becomes writer, I don't know what's happening over there in the service. <laughs> now she's going to, she's got a really remarkable story. Uh, Sally actually wrote this book for a friend um, and then it became a hating game. with Sally Thorne. If you've got any questions or comments for Sally, send them through through Facebook comments and we'll ask her direct. Yep. Um, now, so tell me, so you wrote it for a friend yep. and pick up where we left off. Okay, so I started writing and it was the strangest thing. I just could not stop writing. It just coming out and I would write it in the evenings. I would write it late at night and I would just pass without... While you were working full time. Two weeks later, I heard from one of the agents from Waxman Level, my agent Taylor, and she said, Hi, I've read your book and I loved it. Um, are you looking for an agent? And I said, Oh, okay, sure, let's go for it. Um, then she um, helped me just tighten it up just a little bit, not much, um, it was a little bit long, um, and and she said, Okay, here's the list of publishers it's going to. And I'm looking at the list of publishers and I'm thinking, Oh, there's some really big ones on there. <laughs> um, I said, sure, let's go for it. Um, again, with no expectations. Um, and I had a two book offer from HarperCollins, New York in a week. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the hating game, tell yeah. us what's it about and okay. what's, what's the genre? The genre is, um, I would describe it as a romantic comedy. It's kind of harking back to those, um, maybe the chick lit, um, genre of times gone by. Um, it was really big for a while, wasn't it, Chick Lit? Um, yeah. And I would love for it to come back. The kind of books that just You might bring you, it back. I hope so. Let's bring it back, guys. It's the kind of book that is going to just make you laugh and sigh and fall in love. Your heart's not going to get broken from this book. So the hand game, what is it about? Okay, it is about Lucy Hutton. Now, the first thing that you need to know about of the assistants to the CEO of Bexley and Gammon Publishing and the second thing that you need to know about Lucy more than anything else is that she hates Joshua Templeman. He's the other assistant to the other CEO. So they spend 40 or 50 or 60 hours a week together in a big silent glass office. They sit opposite each
each other and they just spend their time staring at each other and eating each other. So they play a lot of really mature mind games half the time. And um, yeah, what changes things I think in the book is the question comes up. Lucy swears that if she doesn't get this promotion, she's leaving the company. So now this hating game that they're locked into has a definite timeline with a finish line. So these two um, competitors are now whipped into a frenzy. It's the biggest battle they've ever been in. But things start to get weird and complicated and there's a really unexpected kiss. And then Lucy's thinking to herself, maybe does she actually hate Joshua Templeman? And did he ever hate her? Or is he just playing her and this is the biggest game that they've ever played? Fantastic. So that's where the title comes yep, from. That's right. The Hating Game. Yep. So it's called The Hating Game. I'm in Canberra. I'm chatting with Sally. Um, I've had a couple of comments here. I must put this onto my to be read pile. Um, wow, so windy. Yes, we yes. are in Canberra. <laughs> it's very windy. But we're holding it together. Yeah. Um, and I really, I can't thank you enough, Sally, for joining us. It is just such a quiet story. Young person in Canberra, minding her own business, writing for pleasure. Yeah. And she gets noticed by a New York agent and gets published by a New York publisher. Yeah. I mean, that's just so fantastic. And that's a really good feel for story. can it be done oh yes it can be done <laughs> you just have to write the story that you really want to read yourself and if you have to pick one particular person that you want to make smile and make laugh and um, just write what you want to write don't ever think about a trend or trying to be like someone else the idea of writing for someone else and not writing for an audience is actually quite beautiful I've not heard that before I mean I'm sure many other authors have done it but I haven't spoken to anyone that's uh, that's taken that approach to writing, and it's really quite beautiful. And in a way, it takes the pressure of writing to a bigger, the pressure off writing to a bigger audience, doesn't it? That's right. Um, if you are writing, a, you know, a lot of people tell me that it's quite funny, and um, I never really thought about whether I was writing something funny when I was writing it. Um, that's that's what kills you. If you're right, if you're writing something and you're wondering, is it funny? And lots of people find it funny, then. Yeah, you just got to be yourself. Chances are it ain't. <laughs> You've got so, to be yourself. Yeah, that's well, right. Well, congratulations, Sally. Thank I you. really do. You're just you're very charming and you're lovely. And I wish you all the success. Thank you. Now, to our uh, community, our reading community, if you haven't read The Hating Game by Sally Thorpe, uh, get yourself a copy because it's so worthwhile. It's a great read.